I lost my sight at the end of my junior year in high school. So after I completed high school, I went to a rehabilitation facility in uh, Bridgeville, Pennsylvania, the Greater Pittsburgh Guild for the Blind. And it was there that I learned Braille, how to read and write Braille, how to travel with uh, the long white cane, and uh, several other things of just techniques of daily life. We all know how complicated student life can be and how busy the campus is. And as a freshman on campus, I found it to be very complex. I successfully navigated that campus with a long white cane, as many blind individuals do. But I decided that I really would prefer to work with a seeing eye dog as my means of navigation, my means of, no, of mobility around the campus. And I found it to be much easier and much faster. I was always a very fast walker before uh, I lost my sight. And I was able to return to that very fast pace. And you need that as a student. You need that to be able to get around campus really quickly. And as a side benefit, the dog was always an icebreaker. Many people don't want to walk up to a person with a disability and break the ice and start a conversation. But a dog is a common element. People would come up and say, wow, I have a dog at home, and, and you, have a, you have a really nice dog. The Seeing Eye is the oldest organization that breeds, raises, and trains dogs to lead blind people, and then trains blind individuals in the safe and effective use of those dogs and how to care for the dogs. We not only have to train the dogs in a very complex world, the world's getting busier and crazier every day with more traffic, hybrid cars, all electric vehicles, pedestrians, and so on. But we also have to train the individual, the human side of the partnership, in how to work with those dogs. Seeing Eye is a registered trademark of this organization. Seeing Eye dogs come from our school and nowhere else. In the same way that not all photocopies are Xerox copies and not all facial tissues are Kleenex tissues, the same thing is true in the guide dog world. Not all dogs that lead a blind person are seeing eye dogs. The generic term is guide dog or dog guide, but seeing eye dog, it only comes from the seeing eye here in Morristown, New Jersey. It's interesting that we're talking about WVU and the seeing eye at the same time because I have said to many individuals that those are the two organizations that made the most impact in my life. I think one of the most important skills I learned at WVU was curiosity and to be constantly a student. It's one of my life philosophies, to be a student for the rest of my life. If you ever stop learning, then something's seriously wrong, in my opinion. And if you aren't a lifetime learner, if you don't have that curiosity, that desire to go figure out why or how something works or how to make it better, then I think a person is very limited later in life. I'm Jim Kutch, President and Chief Executive Officer of the Seeing Eye in Morristown, New Jersey.